This is day two. I can't move my left leg at all. Re really swollen. And it feels like it's made out of rubber. It won't take any weight. We start gathering acorns in a few days. And I have two different television crews coming here to film my work. So, I'm gonna have to get over this. <laughs> As soon as possible. This is not an immune episode. I can tell because my hands and my shoulders and my collarbone, <clears throat> my jaw are all swollen and stiff and painful. The acorn table is 20 meters long and two meters wide, 40 square meters. And it's nearly full. Always at the beginning of the season, I wonder how the heck are we gonna fill this thing again? But it's a very satisfying feeling to see it like this. And we're only about halfway through the season, the gathering season. As you can see, we're collecting the largest nuts we can find. And they'll dry out faster than they normally would on this table, which is in the sunshine. And you know they're ready when they make a rattling sound. It's starting to get there. And you shake them and you can hear the nut rattling, which you can't yet thing you know they're ready to go in storage.
Yeah. Okay. See you later. Go, go, go. <laughs> you can go too, yeah. Yeah, of course. I don't usually use this dehydrating table for acorns from the trees and leached acorn flower at the same time. Rather, leached acorns for flower. Um, I like to finish with the acorns before I get the flower in here, but this year the demand's been so high and so rapid that I needed to get started early. Luckily, the remaining acorns on the table will be removed tomorrow afternoon. clearly see that this is just rigged up with old materials now. This table was glorious in its prime, but it needs an absolute workover.